Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now in today's video, apart from the red ship being half destroyed in the map because I spawned in the ship and it randomly started firing, we are looking at the dun 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 CSG-5 Assault Carrier Wayland. Now this thing is absolutely huge. Not as big as some things, but it is heavily detailed. So if I was to say fly along to one of these little carrying hangars and zoom all the way out this is the size of it as you can see i am sort of just flying around there perhaps i'll zoom in the screen again so you can try and get some kind of idea of how big this is but it's pretty damn impressive so on the outside we have these lovely little wheels for decorations i love how they did that we've got a load of load of machine gun turrets and missile turrets as I've found out as soon as I spawned in it started just to bombard the red ship for whatever reason we've got hydrogen thrusters we've got ion thrusters we think we've even got some atmospheric thrusters thrown in here and we've got two big hangars with little ships inside but we'll come to that in just a second if we come down the middle here this is like the little control stations in here for all your little friends to sit in and if we were to go one up this is the control room where you will sit if you want to fly the ship. So in there we've got some lovely little seats. We'll go on the inside in just a second, but let's just finish going around the outside. So on the opposite side, we don't really have anything that different. It's all the same. We've got some thrusters. We've got some more machine guns. We've even got some tilted thrusters. Now, I absolutely love how they did this. I presume they're just using like rotors on rotors to do this but it is really cool to see and a really nice little aesthetics they've added to the ship like that. Now as we come behind it we've just got some ion thrusters hidden away here all protected by some nice little bits just to stop pirates or other players from destroying it while you're riding along. So the doorway is over on one of the little wings on the side. Now there is a door further down which will go directly into the hangar or we can go into this door right here which will take us into like the main little splitting section. So in here we're just going to close up all the doors and here is one of the little hangars with little ships and if I was to go further along in there we would then go to like the little like intersection which would lead to the other side of the little hangar and then we can go to the bridge or the engine room but let's check out the hangar at the moment so in each little hangar we have a multitude of little ships they have a little bit of different designs like that one is a bit bigger it's more of a transport ship and then in this one we have like little fighters now if i was to go behind here we have a little control panel so if i was to trigger the hangar it should now open up this door excellent so now i can get into a little ship like so so if I was to now press number 4, we'll disconnect ourselves, and if I press number 1, we'll activate our thrusters, and away we go. And we can now fly on out here, and now we can go and kill stuff. We just fly around here, shoot a few little missiles off, there we go, kill the red ship. And then when we're done, we can just go and fly back into our little hangar, hopefully. It is a little bit fiddly, these ships are very, very fast, so any kind of little minute controls will send you off into a very, very sharp spin. So I'm just going to plop myself down here, hopefully I'll be near the little... There we go, I can now lock myself in place, press number one to turn for thrusters, hop on out, and come back to the little panel back here. Boom, and now the hangar is closing up. All excellent. I love it when people design ships like this, where you have little carrier ships, which you can send out, like, if you were getting attacked by a small amount of pirates, you could, instead of using your big cannons and risk damaging your own ship, just hop into one of these little ships and deal with them. Now, I'm not going to take off this ship, but it is just a little carrying thing. Just hop in here, get two people inside it, and transport them, say, down to a planet if you needed to. And, of course, we got the same little controls along here, just to open up and deal with these ships. So now let's come across to the intersection in here. Just going to keep closing doors behind me because it is just unfortunately a natural reaction in this game. So this is where I show you in the center of the ship beforehand where your friends can now sit in here and have a few little controls such as opening up all the hangers if needed. So if I needed to open up all the hangers here, I could, but I'm not going to because I don't need to. So if I was to go all the way up here, we've got some more seats. I presume these seats would be to manually control the cannons, but they're not set up like that correctly. You could also use them to remote control the little ships in the hangars, should you wish. We've got some unused buttons here, which you could use for whatever you want. And as we come through here, sorry, that door was already open because I've already been through here. We've now got our little pods 
to regenerate our health, or if we're in danger of crashing and can't reach the hangars in time. We could always just carry on one of those. So down below we have the engine room, and up above we have the bridge. So let's just go down. So this is the engine room. There is nothing much going on in here. It's just a lot, a lot of little blocks. It's only here if you need to actually repair something in there. There are some connectors in there which could possibly get damaged if you got shot at. But ultimately, there's not much to concern yourself down here. So if we now just fly on up to the top, turn ourselves around. So as we come up here, there isn't much going on in here. We have some more seats which we can set up and use should we wish. And down here, we've got another access point to the engine rooms like so. So if you needed to, say, repair the reactor or repair any of these connectors over here, you can do so quite safely. And we also have a little main power gauge up here to tell you what kind of percentage your reactors are. So over here we have now a door which leads to the bridge. Like I said before, I have opened this up because I've already been through here. We have a conference room. Yes, that's right. Many big ships always forget to have a conference room and it's always very useful to have. Unfortunately, I can't go third person because it takes me to a third person view of the entire ship. So I'm just going to hop out here. It'd be nice if, say, space engineers could update to have like little cosmetic items such as food and drinks that you could place down on little tables. Because that'd make it so much more nicer. So over here we've got some more controls, such as the shutters, which will basically close the little doors on the windows in case you need to protect yourself from meteors, asteroids, or attacking pirates. So as we come further through here, we're asked then to jetpack up a bit more, and this will take us to the command bridge. So here in the command bridge, we have three little seats. The two seats at the back here control the missiles, and the seat at the front controls the actual ship itself. Over here, we have another little button, which activates spotlights. So as we come over to this seat, we now have a lot of controls. A lot of controls, but it's only tab number one, which really concerns us. So on tab number one, what we have is some thrusters, we have our spotlights, which are these little blinking lights at the front here. They're quite nice, but they do annoy me quite a lot. And if I bring up the menu, we now have an advanced rotor if you want to rotate your antenna. You have the turrets on and off. I've switched them off for the moment, because you'll see in a minute, they'll just bombard the red ship for no apparent reason. And we've got, naturally, cameras all along here. So if I was to go six, seven, eight, so we can see inside the hangars, and I think we can see behind ourselves. But if I come out of that view and now activate the turrets, you can see what I mean by they just absolutely bombard the hell out of the red ship for no reason. So I'm going to let that continually um, attack the red ship while I go for a little ride. And this ship is exceptionally slow. Very, very slow. Slow to stop, slow to move, very slow to turn. So it's not something you could use in very fast paced combat. So even the red and blue ships will outmaneuver you as they are much more agile than a ship. But they do lack the firepower compared to this. As you can see, we're now attacking the blue ship and we're also attacking the red ship. Our machine guns, our missile towers are all going absolutely insane for no reason whatsoever. I have no idea why they're actually targeting that. But it is going quite a lot. So the red ship is now getting hammered away. It's just being dragged away from the actual starting station. I am bombarding the starting station as well. So this thing is actually packing quite a lot of punch in its actual... Um, in its actual combat firepower. Now one thing I did not notice was the actual weight of this whole vehicle. Look at the bottom right hand corner. My goodness gracious me, this is the heavy vehicle. I would not want to crash this on a planet because you'll probably take the entire planet out of orbit. So anyway, this is the Wayland Assault Carrier. It's a very nifty spaceship and I absolutely love it. I just... <laughs> It's just going crazy. I have no idea what's going up to it. And it has not hit its own ship yet. I think that's the thing which is surprising me. Especially the missiles on the lower half of the ship. It has not hit itself yet. Although I think it just did it there just to spite me because I was then saying it. So I'm now just going to fly past this. End the video right here. As usual, it will be in the description below. Should you wish to try it yourself. I highly recommend you do. Especially if you're playing this with friends. Because it could be neat just to open up the little hangars. And have your little friends fly out. While you're getting attacked by pirates. Just to see how much destruction you can actually do. But anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I'll be back with another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Some point soon. Bye bye.